welcome back to Sass and Salt. I am uh, repping my home team of the Saints today. I'm doing wings three ways. I'm going to do a classic buffalo sauce. I'm going to do something that's kind of trendy. Uh, hot honey is really trendy. So I am going to do a hot honey mustard sauce. And then I have this Ziploc bag of all kinds of different um, packet sauces from all kinds of different restaurants. So we are going to wing it and make a mystery sauce with this. Let's get started. All right, we are going to go ahead and get started pressure cooking these wings. The best part of using um, the Ninja Foodie is it's a pressure cooker and an air fryer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take advantage of both. I have a four pound bag of wing sections. I like the flats and the drumettes. Uh, so that's what I'm using, but I'm doing the whole four pound bag and it is frozen chicken, super frozen. So all I'm going to put in my pot here, put about a half a cup of chicken stock. You can use water if you don't have chicken stock, but this just adds a little extra flavor. So we have that. And then the best part, See in there? It is frozen solid. And all we're doing is dumping it in here. Hold on! Now, they look big, they look giant, but if you ever cooked wings before, after the cooking process, they shrink down a little bit, and then we'll be able to be able to air fry them in separate batches, so. And I'm just gonna put a pressure cooker lid on. Put a little something like this. We're gonna make sure we have it on the seal option instead of the vent. We are going to pressure cook these on high for, we'll do nine minutes since we're doing the whole four pounds. And hit start and that's it. It'll let us know when it's done. All right, we are gonna get started with our sauces. So I am going to do a classic buffalo first. And with that, I'm gonna add a half a stick or four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Uh, I have my butter melting here. And all we're gonna do is add some brown sugar to this. I'm using Frank's Red Hot Wing Sauce. No, they don't sponsor me, but if you want to, I'm all ears. I'm gonna add that to our pot. A little bit of salt. Now, if you don't have unsalted butter, um, just omit, you can use the salted butter, just don't put extra salt in. It's kind of the same thing. Uh, and then fresh cracked black pepper, let everything come together. And that, my friends, is the simple classic buffalo sauce. Hot honey mustard sauce. We're gonna be using this honey, Dijon mustard, crushed red pepper flakes, and sriracha. Just so you know, what I'm making here in our pots is just uh, for a third of the four pounds of chicken that I'm doing it in our air fryer right now. Uh, the recipe below, it will be for the hot honey sauce for all four pounds of chicken, if that makes sense. So just wanted to let you know, I'm not really saying the ingredient, as the quantity of ingredients as I'm heating it up here on the stove, but all of the ingredients for the four pound chickens will be below. Okay. So let's add our honey, our sriracha, Asia mustard. So messy, but it's gonna taste amazing. And then uh, to make this the hot, sriracha adds a little heat, but so does these red pepper flakes. If you're not that much into to spices, uh, you can leave the red pepper flakes out. It's no big deal turn back over here to our buffalo sauce here. Bring it up. So this is well mixed. I'm just gonna keep this low back here. And we will give this one a mix. Ooh, this smells pretty good. I am going to add a little salt and pepper to this as well. And this is a new recipe for me, so I'm just going to let this come up uh, to temp, just to let it get a little uh, happy, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna taste it and see if I need to add something else to it. And 
I'm gonna let those heat up. I'm gonna go check on the um, wings in the air fryer. I'm just gonna give them a flip and uh, see how they're looking. Okay, now we are going to work on our mystery sauce. So I have this Ziploc bag of all of these to-go sauces. I have some fuzzies butt burning taco sauce, some chili sauce, taco bell, some Popeyes honey. What y'all think? What should we make? Uh, I'm thinking I for sure have uh, these green onions that I'd like to slice super thin and kind of add to the marinade. I think we should just kind of start putting them in the bowl and then we'll just figure it out, right? I don't know. I'm gonna wing it here. Get it? See what I did again? We're gonna just gonna uh, what? We're just gonna wing it. Yep. Okay. Let's just do it. Chili sauce. Let's see. Um, this is for a hot chili from Wendy's. I'm down. Let's check this one out. Ooh, it's really good. It's kind of garlicky. Um, wow. Really not what I was expecting, but it's very pleasant. For sure, I have to use the butt burning hot sauce, because why not? I mean, whose butt doesn't want to burn, right? <laughs> and this is just a hot taco sauce. Okay, special seasonings by Papa John. We all have to have a little seasonings, right? It smells good. What is this used for? Sprinkled on pizza? I don't know. I uh, obtained these from my mother's house. Can I give this a, a little whirl here? Isn't that so fun? We get to be creative and kind of come up with mystery sauces. Okay, oh look, our first batch is done. Mm. All right, well, we need to add something to this to give it a little, let's go with some honey, just to add a little sweetness to kind of cut all those spices a little bit. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put this chili sauce in. This one's from Panda Express. I like things spicy, and why not? Well, it's a pretty color, so that's nice. Let's smell it. All right, let's give it a little taste. Huh. Nervous, so nervous. Ooh, oh, that's salty, that's really, ooh. <clears throat> Gets you kind of in the back of the throat a little. Just for some consistency, I'm gonna add this spicy three pepper sauce. I don't know, just so you know, there will not be a recipe for this <laughs> mystery sauce. <laughs> just, uh, you know, go through your sauce packet drawer and uh, let me know what you come up with. I would love to see uh, what kind of you know packets you have and what you kind of chose to uh, to use in this it kind of be fun you know I'll give you something to do during your if you're quarantining or, or whatnot you know kind of get the family involved and have a little fun with it good I think I'm good with that first batch of wings is ready uh, just to do a little recap um, I pressure cooked all four pounds of frozen wings and um, then I drained all of that liquid out and then put the fryer basket in and separated the four pounds in half. So I did two pounds. Uh, it actually worked out to be 10 and 10 wings. So I air fried 10 wings. I have about 20 minutes left on the other 10 wings, but I wanted to go ahead and taste these. So we are going to sauce and toss uh, and then do a little tasting while that is going. So I also wanted you to hear, do you hear that crispiness? That came from my air fryer. That's what's up. You want to get a close up of that sauce? This is our hot honey mustard sauce. Lovely consistency here, perfect for wings. Or dipping sauce, whatever you wanna use, this is a good sauce. I'm gonna get these good and tossed here. I'm just gonna use my spatula. You know what? No, we're not. We're gonna, it's kinda of hard to flip through. <laughs> Okay, we're not gonna do that. We're gonna use our tongs. <laughs> Add just a little bit more sauce to these. 
Uh, you can even put these back in the air fryer after you sauce them and just give them another five or 10 minutes on that. Oh man, it would be delicious. Okay. So we're gonna plate these. So that's one sauce. This one here, we're gonna do our classic buffalo. Get a load of that. Mm. Now this one's a little bit thinner, but it still has a really good consistency. It'll coat a little bit better also. Mm. This is probably one of my favorites. It's go-to. I also love a Parmesan, a garlic Parmesan type of wing as well. These are a little bit easier. Definitely a little bit easier. <laughs> our concoction all kinds of sauces for this one I think I'll just give this a light coating I wanted to give these a try and I want to let you know what my favorite is so let's start with um, our, our mystery sauce one so let's see It's quite delicious. You taste those fresh green onions and that little bit of the lime zest that I added to it. <coughs> it is for sure spicy, which I am not scared of spice. Let's do the buffalo. It's my favorite. It's a classic. Who doesn't like buffalo sauce, right? Like a little palate cleanser here. It would go better with beer, but you know. I got water, guys. Stay hydrated. Let's try these. Cheers. So this is kind of the classic buffalo sauce, but to me, adding that brown sugar to it just really gives it an extra depth of flavor. So you still get that tangy, peppery um, flavor from the buffalo. You get the richness from the butter. But hands down, that little bit of brown sugar that we add to it, you should try it. It's really good. I'm gonna finish it because this is. So let's taste this one right off the bat. You get that Dijon mustard flavor. The sweetness of the honey. Mm, it's really good. And then the sriracha and those hot pepper flakes kind of come in in the back, and it kind of you get that spice. Man, I don't know, this is going to be a tough one to find which one is my favorite. There's no sexy way to eat wings. Let's be real. Okay, so the mystery one, it's good. I probably wouldn't make it again because I have no idea what I actually put in it. I think I'm gonna go for the hot honey mustard. I think that's my favorite. It's delicious. I like the consistency. We have four minutes left on our second batch. I'm gonna give those a toss. And then we're gonna eat. I'm gonna eat, actually. And thanks for watching, you guys. Huda! <laughs> ah! I look fucking hot. <laughs> I'm gonna be trying that.